Happy New Year everyone and welcome to my channel. Here I review useful, incredible, lesser known Android applications. Kindly consider subscribing to the channel if it is your first time and let's kick off the year with this list of useful Android apps for January 2026. RenderFlow is a very good image editing application. With it, you can increase image resolution with the upscale tool with output settings like renaming the file, choosing processing power, quality and scale intensity. There is ADA, times 2, times 4 or times 16. You can select more than one image at a go. You can also change image format with the Convert tool. Again, select more than one photo. Here you get various formats including converting them to PDF. And then there is image sharpening with the Enhance tool, which brings out the details especially on faces. It also lets you crop and scale images with the Resize tool. This one lets you change image size by compressing. And aside all these tools, it serves as a photo editor as well when you tap on this plus button and select an image, you get all these basic editing tools down here. Crop, adjust, various filters, blur, adding text and more. Keep in mind the app works fully offline. All you need to do is download the resources or modules needed to perform the app skills and enhancements and you're good to go. And your images do not stay on the application. Once you finish the project, it stays temporarily and then it goes away. Not forgetting the modding design, it's a free application with the link in the video description. For a clean, reliable and intuitive weather app, Weatherfast is one I came across recently which does it for me. First is the design, because a weather app should not look complicated. Already weather details can look complicated, so the UI must be appealing. And this one nails it, whether in dark or light mode, and it's wallpaper color adaptive too. Switching to its function, it provides a general overview of the day's weather condition and the current hour. And then you get hourly forecast, plus you can also view the upcoming days here. And the best thing about the app is the suggestions, predicting the conditions of the next hour and what you need to do. And not just predicting, it is 99% accurate all the time since I began using it. And I always come in here to view what the days hold. There's also the insights tab which goes further into the suggestions like what to wear, general overview of the morning, afternoon and evening, and even the week ahead. Plus, you can also tap this icon to refresh or use the search to view other places. It is a very good app worth having. Moving on, NotiFilter is a free open source application which enables notification blocking when it identifies certain words in upcoming notifications, and it really does a good job. You simply tap the plus button to add an application first, whether Reddit, WhatsApp, Telegram or any other application and then you go ahead and add a word, meaning it can block a notification with a certain word from one application but still allow a notification with the same word from another app. And that is great. Keep in mind if you have pop-up notifications, you will get the pop-up alright but the notification would not stay in the notification panel. So if you usually get unwanted notifications from certain applications but you cannot really disable all notifications from that app, Maybe you still receive important notifications from there. You can use this app. And as a demonstration, I'm going to filter out the word Hey You from the Messages application and then send a message to my number and let's see. So I tap this plus button to add the Messages application and then I type in Hey You and then save the filter. Once I send a message to my number and to show that yes, the notification came, I've not disabled the pop-up notification. But when I check the notification panel, the message is not here unless I open the Messages application itself. I think it's a pretty useful application. Last year, I came across this app called Blue Dot, and I really did not use it that much for the one time I used it, it delivered to my satisfaction. It can be used to record audio and it transcribes the audio and breaks it down into summary and into various topics. And I liked it, cause for the one time I used it, I didn't even expect this much from it. Here is the audio I recorded from a gathering where the school's headmaster was giving a speech and recognizing the efforts of some students and teachers during the term. and it was just a 26 seconds recording done on December 17, 2025 as the date clearly shows here. 
and to my surprise, the transcript was accurate, thus the summary and the topics all aligned well. I was so impressed. You can also import recordings from your phone for transcription as well. Keep in mind it is limited on the free version of the app, but you can upgrade and enjoy the application really well. If you want something different in a gallery application, check out Galero. And this view is incredible. You know, most gallery applications go with the classic 4x4 grid. This one stands out. I think it's called a masonry grid. And for organization, this app deserves the accolades too. While most gallery applications have their albums, videos, and more two tabs away, this one have them all neatly organized in tabs, easy to reach, and you can also swipe through them. You get photos, videos, folders, favorites, and tags. And mentioning tags brings us to the core functionality of this application. It is actually meant to keep memories, journal photos, and categorizing media for easy access by adding notes to media and adding tags. So if it is screenshots of things you want to purchase, you can create a tag for those photos like I have right here. So entering these tags takes me to all the screenshots of things I want to purchase instead of scrolling through the entire gallery. I also have the wallpaper tag, which contains all wallpapers in my gallery. You could even have tags for friends to keep their photos at one place. And of course, you can add notes to images for memory's sake and then make media favorites as well. With AI everywhere, Rewordium is another keyboard application that comes with AI tools like Paraphraser, Grammar Checker, Translator, Tone Editor, and more. So once you enable the keyboard, you can switch to it every time with the keyboard switcher down here to help you rewrite paragraphs, write smart sentences, choose tone, length, and style. And aside working from the keyboard, you can also access the Paraphraser and the app. Here you can enter text, select which mode and persona, and hit paraphrase. Regenerate if you want something different. And just like the paraphrase side, you can also access the grammar checker also on the app. So for writing better emails, giving better responses and more, try out this application. Since it's a new year, people will try forming new habits, try to better themselves with productive routines. And if you are one of them, I recommend you check out Routine Path. This app is both a routine tracker and a task manager with all the necessary details in a clean modding interface. Adding routines comes with color coding, icon customization, categories, selecting priority, frequency, and under here, you can choose specific dates or a number of times per week, so there is that flexibility. And then the reminder. You can also add tasks from the second tab here, view active and completed tasks, and then the third tab, which is your profile and achievements. So you can take a look back at your progress I guess began using it just yesterday, which is the 1st of January, so I don't have much progress data. But I love the look of the app, really creates that environment to keep checking your habits and tasks. Plus, the reminder works very well too, it doesn't stop working. It does not require accounts, it supports local backup and restore of data. Creventa or Cryventa is an application you need to check out if you work with documents a lot. First off, you can scan documents right within the app and make PDFs or imports from gallery Aside that, you get several useful tools like AI Humanizer to make AI-generated text sound natural, merge PDFs, split PDFs, reorder pages, compress, secure with passwords or unlock PDFs, sign on PDFs, which is what led me to install this application. It works really well. You can either draw or import, and there is no glitch here. Once you are done, you just pinch to reduce the size and place it at the right spot, apply and save. You also get to scan QR codes and it can also enhance images with AI. So it is a complete package of PDF tools in an easy to use application. I love using this app every day and you should check out too. It is called Sounds. It is full of all types of noises suitable for sleep, work, relaxation and more. You get brown noises, rain, white noises, and natural noises like streams, droplets, train moving, wheels underwater which is one of my favorites. Plus, you get mixed noises. It can play in the background while the phone screen is turned off or use another application. Great for bedtime, work sessions and more. You can add sleep timer to them, make some of them favorites and that's all about it. No hidden settings menu, just an application full of noises with a material you interface with no apps. And then we have Cars Insights. With this application, you get to explore and view specs of various cars, their performance, engine, speed, horsepower plus general specs like brand, module, which generation, 
production year, body type, and more. It is curated with lots of cars and their details, plus you can also search for specific cars and also compare cars when you tap this button. And so if you're into cars or planning to own one, this app can help you make decisions with the data available. And the app is pretty neat too, both light and dark mode available and a bit of Material 3 Expressive going on. Let me know what you think of these applications I've mentioned and if any of these had your interest, feel free to comment below. Also, consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like on the video and as always, thank you for watching.